Dinah, open the door. Dinah. Hi. Hi? Right face, wrong greeting. How about hi? How about a kiss? Okay, I will. I'll get later. Well, what if I'm not in the mood later? What are you doing? And you don't want to kiss me anyway because I'm I'm a mess. So. I don't care. I don't. No, no, don't do that. You don't want to do. You don't want you know, to do I'm that. I'm starting to think that maybe there's a guy in. There. Okay, you know what? There is a guy in here. Are you happy now? Are you satisfied? Hi, <laughs> right, Jessup. Meet Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hey. You look beautiful, absolutely fabulous. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I don't know where you got that dress, Beth, but heads are going to turn tonight, one in particular, I'm sure. I thought this was a small family. Uh, nothing in the Spalding family is small, Beth. You ought to know that. Everything has to be big. Everything has to be better. And everything has to be elegant. Very pretty. You like it? Mm. Why don't you turn around for me? Just a little something I found. Perfect touch, don't you think? They're lovely, but I couldn't uh, really. Just tonight. Please, I insist. Danny. I mean, Beth, I insist. After all, you are an important person in this family. I'm afraid that was a long time ago. Beth, stop kidding yourself. And come home where you belong. To Philip. Oh, wow. I take it you approve. You brought me flowers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, also this. I've been meaning to give this to you. Well, now you've gone completely overboard. It's a squeak toy for Scout. <laughs> thought it looked like something you'd get a kick out of. Well, I thought maybe you'd Oh, you thought it was for you? Yeah. Go ahead, play with it. Thank you. I don't want to see it. I don't he's think He's going to love this. This is the first present he's really received from Hang anybody. Not that you don't look completely adorable, but why aren't you dressed? Um. Harley. Wow, roses and lilies. This is getting serious. Wait, where are you going with those? Put them in a vase. Uh... Why aren't you dressed? You are going with me. I was. Harley. Philip, uh, I've been thinking... Is this about Beth? Yes. And I've decided, what? not just because of Beth, but because what? of me too. What? What have you decided? She's all yours. You're as cold as no. ice. Can I get you something no, to eat, honey? I'm not hungry. Well, let's, let's, let's just go outside. We'll go for a drive. We'll go uh, take a drive no, around the I lake. I think maybe I should send some flowers. Would that be the right thing to do? Flowers? What? For Roy's mother at the funeral home? Oh, honey, don't do this to yourself. Please don't do this to yourself. Because I keep seeing him. Honey, he, honey, it, was, it wasn't your fault. He kept pushing you. I keep seeing him lying in the casket and his hair was brushed and he had on a new suit and I looked down at him and he didn't move and he looked nice. That's the problem, Abby, is he wasn't nice. He wasn't. But his mother loved him. I looked out at him, and I knew he would never move again because of what I did to him. And his mother will... I've left his mother without her son, her only son. Sweet. How am I ever going to make this right? Don't you dare say that again. I love you with all my heart. Don't you dare say that. I have killed a person. Abby, you killed a man who would have killed you. God, that didn't even matter. It does matter. Damn it. Now, do you understand? That doesn't even matter. Honey, listen to me. Don't, I'm not the enemy here. I love you. And what I do understand is that you have to give yourself time to heal, honey. You have to do that for yourself. You have to... I know it's hard to look ahead to the future right now. <laughs> Future? You think there's a future? Do you think I can forget that I have killed this no, man? No, I know. 
I don't. But I do believe... I do believe that in time you'll come to forgive yourself, Abby. Because it was an act of self-defense. This boy, Beecham, him. threatened you and he threatened you over and over until you had... I to... shot him! And he died! It's a door. Excuse me. Hi. Abby, I heard what happened at the funeral home. I'm so sorry. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm worried about Abby's emotional state. That's why I called. Well, I've been working night and day to resolve this, and I think we have something. Is it all right to talk? To yeah, please. I'm... Hello, Abigail. If you have come to take me back to jail, I am definitely ready to go back to jail. Now, as district attorney, uh, I have an offer from the state. An offer that will determine your future. You are opening up Pandora's box by allowing that crazy woman into our family, Amanda, into the company. Amanda, I will not allow you to talk about any that way again. Tell it to County General. Alan, can you even imagine Annie at a stockholders meeting? Amanda, I was running this company when you were in the attic practicing your piano. So don't preach to me about how I should run Spalding. See, I'm getting nowhere. Fast. Hey, Alan, do whatever you want. Sleep with Annie. Make her your next wife. How many have you had, by the way? Amanda. Okay, do whatever you want with your personal life, Alan. But I am warning you, you keep the Annie the hell away from Spalding. You know, I... Amanda, sometimes we have to put up with things that we don't necessarily like. I can't tell you how many times I've had to put up with your misguided whims. Well, I'm sure I'm interrupting something, but uh, aren't we having dinner? Speak of the devil. Look, I know you're not crazy about the idea of Beth staying at the house, but you said that you could deal with it. Well, what was I supposed to say, Philip? That I would rather see your daughter crying herself to sleep than have your ex-wife under the same roof as you? I'm not going to say something uh, like Obviously, that. you're not going to say that, but if you have a big problem well, with I'm this, then we need to try to figure out something else. Well, I'm not going to say anything about this situation at all, because there is nothing to say. The situation is what it is, and I have to deal with it. Okay, well, then what's the problem? <laughs> there is no problem. Well, then why am I going to dinner alone? Because I have scheduled a meeting with Jenna. Even though you knew about dinner, you scheduled a meeting? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I am a working woman, uh -huh. and I can't just organize my whole life around you. I mean, this just came up. Just came up, just like that. Yeah. I'm Harley. sorry I didn't get a chance to call you. You're sorry? Harley, I want you with me tonight. You do? I do, yes. Well... Come on. The situation is dismal, Harley. Well, use a glass. I don't want to use a glass. Use a glass! I don't get many flowers. <laughs> well, I think you should get used to it. I think you should also cancel your meeting and get dressed and come I with me. I can't do that. Philip, I want you to have a wonderful time with your daughter. I love the way your eyes sparkle when you see her. What about now? Are my eyes sparkling now? Don't change the subject. My eyes are sparkling right now. Philip, listen to me. I don't want to be near Annie. Who does? Harley, I don't want to do this without you tonight. Well, you're going to have to turn around, be a big boy, walk out that door, and have a great time with your daughter. I'm not happy about this. I'm sorry. Mm. Good night. I missed you. You did not. <laughs> you did not. Now get out of here. I'm going to call you. If I'm home, I'll be home. Yeah. <laughs> running out of air in that closet. Sorry. Is he gone? Yeah, yeah, he's right. gone. Yes, good. Yeah, I have to hand it to you, Harley. You're, you're handling the appearance of his ex-wife very well. 